This is Tech Now. I'm your host, John Reed, also CEO of Cat Alliance. And today we're joined by JP Haynes, CEO of East Centire and member of the CATA National Leadership Council. We asked the question, how do we move Canada to a lead position as a cybersecurity nation? Okay, so for Canada to improve itself as a cybersecurity uh, nation, in other words, move uh, to a leader position, I think there's a few things that we have to consider. Uh, one, we have to elevate the conversation uh, in the commercial space as well as the government sector to the executive level. This is a clear and present danger. We see it. We work in the U.S. all the time. We see the hacking levels that are going on there. We know the executives are engaged. So, so first and foremost, we have to move that conversation upstairs. It's not an IT problem. It's a corporate risk problem. Number one. Number two, we have to invest in um, in the skill sets. This is probably one of the highest demanded skills that's still not being uh, properly fulfilled uh, across the globe. And uh, Canada has phenomenal institutions. We work closely with several universities and colleges. Some even have CSI-like programs today. And uh, we, we hire, sometimes we interview the entire graduating class. That's, and, and, and we have to do that just to be able to get uh, candidate flow to help solve our problems. We're looking at moving to um, a European operations center for uh, redundancy in our and our security operations and uh, we're trying to find places that are focused on this and, and it was quite interesting to see what the Netherlands has done uh, in The Hague they've created what they call the Hague Security Delta where there's actually 13,000 cybersecurity uh, professionals concentrated there so I think we've got to do that kind of thing now we are challenged geographically with having all of our universities and uh, and centers of excellence spread out so I think you know from a technology perspective we know how to solve that problem we have to approach this though at a national level it's not that you know Vancouver or Ottawa or Waterloo is the place to go. It's all of them, and we've got to make them all work together in a virtual environment. 